Hello, my name is Jordan Brown and I'm the writer and director of Stare Into The Lights My Pretties, which is a documentary film about digital technology and the impact on people, society and the environment. And today I'm pitching you for your financial support to help me tour this film across the globe. It's an independent documentary film that's not for profit and released online for free, but I need your help to get this film in front of as many eyes and ears and minds as possible. The film takes a critical view of the society of the spectacle, where today we have the average adult spending the majority of their waking hours in front of some sort of screen or device, and we call this a screen culture. We live in a techno-dazzled world, and there's considerable resistance to the very idea of challenging technology. Is that Google Plus? Is that Google Plus? Is that a Google Plus? And now we have computers. They tie the world together. They accelerate communication. They make corporate globalization more likely and more effective. And they accelerate its negative impacts. Increasingly, the techno-haves are very, very distinct from the techno-have-nots, where some people are on a dollar a day with no access to drinking water, and there's other people with Game Boy thumbs and Prozac and Botox and so on. The screen culture makes people look within. It's about me. There's always a danger in that, in ignoring your neighbour, in a lack of collective awareness. Nearly all information we get from techno about technology comes from the people who invent, promote and sell it. We don't really need to hear from them at this event. We hear from them every day on TV and on the internet. We've been hearing for them, from them for years. We don't need Eric Schmidt to tell us about computers, driverless cars, and Google Glass. We get it. We want to discuss the rest of the story. What else do they bring? How do they unify our minds within a certain worldview? How do they envelop us within their frameworks? What are their hidden harms to the planet? And how do we deal with the staggering information imbalance that exists right now in our country on these questions? So my film sets out to investigate a bunch of these sorts of questions um, with an urge to form a critical view of technology and its relationship to corporate and state power. For example, we see how the first digital computer was invented by the military to serve war in 1946. And then similarly, how the internet was developed by the Pentagon during the Cold War, again, to serve military power. And so then we see the convergence and corporatization of these technologies to the point where we are today, covering very relevant and pressing social themes right now. Privacy, um, surveillance, um, the phenomenon of so-called big data and, and the concept of the filter bubble where many of us are having very personalized and targeted information experiences online that's very atomizing and, and polarizing. Um, and this brings us to the psychology of addiction and the concept of behavior modification with these technologies. But most importantly, I think uh, this film asks us to question how the convergence of these technologies is really being used for a very powerful form of social control in a way that's never been before possible. This is an independent film. I made it with no budget. Uh, completely off my own back and I decided to give it away online for free because I want it to be used as a catalyst for change and for activism not just for questioning things but as a tool for deep analysis so by supporting this project and supporting this work you're enabling those ends to reach as many audiences as possible all funds raised for this campaign will go towards entering international film festivals, covering fees for that, and also to get the film into cinemas and, and, and make connections with people on the ground, actually get, get people together out in the real world and discussing and, and acting on these issues. So if you think these issues are important, please support this project, support this work, and thank you very much for your help and support.